This book will take the input of keys pressed and the release times. So um, A um, was held for 10 seconds and it's released 10 seconds in. And um, B was <coughs> was released 19 seconds in. So to figure out how long it was held, it would be 19 minus 10. So it would be the same for every number. So um, C would be 31 minus 19. Um, D would be 43 minus 31. And because 31 minus 19 and 43 minus 31 are the same, um, and it's trying to find the maximum the maximum pressed, the one that was pressed for the longest. Um, because if they're the same, then they'll go on um, whichever one is later in the alphabet. So D would go after C, even though they have the same press time. So function longest pressed will take the keys pressed and the release times. It'll have max press, which, which will be equal to release times zero. Because um, because uh, normally you would have this start off as zero and it would look at the first one and replace it instantly, but instead you could just have it start off as the first one because you're always going to replace it. And it's the same with um, keys, uh, um, the maximum key, which is the one that was held for the longest, will start off as keys press zero. Well, we then for loop through the release times, and um, current press um, would be equal to the release time i, which, in, uh, which would start off as 19, minus the one before it, which would be 10, so that would get the, um, the one that was, how long the current um, I was pressed for. So this B um, would, be, would be pressed for 19 minus 10, which is 9. If that is bigger than the old um, maximum press, um, if bigger or equal, if it's equal, then it w um, using um, two letters, you could use, see if it's bigger, and if you write it's bigger, then it will see if which one is way to the alphabet, and if you write it smaller, it will see which one is before the alphabet. So that, that's what we'll do if it's equal, and then um, if it's bigger, if it's way to the alphabet, then we'll replace them. Um, however, if it's not way to the alphabet, it won't do anything. And if they're not equal and it's just bigger, it'll obviously replace them. And we'll then keep on doing this until it um, leaves the for loop, and then it'll return the max key, because um, because it, it, it it'll return the max key. And, uh, so in this case, it would be D, because... Um, because 43 minus 31 is 12, and 31 minus 19 is 12, but D is weighed in the alphabet and C. And we'll then get what the function returned and print it, which in this case, as I just explained, would be D.